Hi, my name is Bradley Pickard, and I'm here today to show you the basic operation and configuration of the Dialogard 90XL meter. So, first I'm going to turn the display module on. Here we have the power button, the far left. Just press it once, quickly, and the meter should come on. Once the meter's on, I'm going to go ahead and connect up a module to the port. You can use any one of these four ports here. So I'm going to go ahead and use port 1. You're welcome to use any of these modules in any of these ports. Then I line it up here, and there's no way to mess this up. It, the, the tail always comes away from the back of the meter, just like this. And then just give it a little bit of pressure to push it in, and you're set. Once I have the module connected, the meter will begin to take readings in real time. Here on the display, you can see that I have conductivity and temperature being fed to the display, and these will update about once every second. Once your meter is on and taking readings, then uh, we can go ahead and take some measurements with the meter. So this is going to be the same for the conductivity as well as the pressure and pH modules. So I'm going to go ahead and use a conductivity module for my testing. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some 14.0 millisiemen conductivity solution that I have here, ready to go. And I'm just going to pour enough in there to fill this basin about halfway, maybe a little bit more. And then I have a syringe here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the module here into the fluid syringe on top and just push it in just a little bit make sure it's tight and it's going to be airtight there and then you can pull up on the syringe and fluid should flow through the meter and you'll begin to get a reading on the display and now you can see on the meter we have readings that are close to our conductivity value my value was 14 and I'm reading 14.043 Now that I've covered basic testing of a module, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure the display. To get to the configuration, press the menu button. Under the menu, there's several options. The first one is units of measure. And when I select that, I need to have a module attached. And I'll see the units of measure that are available for the type of module that I have attached. In, in this situation, I have a 90XL conductivity module attached. And so I get this, the options of millisiemens, microsiemens, mega ohms of resistance, and parts per million. I'm going to go ahead and select one. And once you select a different one, it takes a moment, and then it should update in real time with your new readings, new units of measure. Next, under menu, the rest of the options are under the configuration selection. I'm going to go ahead and arrow down and select configuration. Under there we have sensor module detail, which is not configurable. Next is auto off options. If I select that, there are several options here. You can have it never shut off or several time options. And then once you've selected one, you can either click save, which will save it permanently into the memory, or if you press temp, then it will save it just for during this, this session with the 90XL. So once the meter has been powered off and rebooted, it will revert back to the setting it had previously. I'll go ahead and save 10 minutes. Other options available are setting the date and time, brightness, and contrast. And this concludes the video for the basic operations of the 90XL. For more information, go to mesolabs.com.